The Lord heard and had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways. Like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Law on your fast day. You carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish or keeping a day of penance? that a man bow, down, bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes. Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This rather is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of God shall be your rare guard. 
Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Please rise. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading from the prophet Isaiah um, reminds us of the homilies of um, Pope Francis last Ash Wednesday. Um, the prophet Isaiah said, Um, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting. You carry your own pursuits and drive your laborers. No? Um, meaning, our fasting and our prayer life has, must have consequences in our relationships. No? And if there are systematic evil in the world, no? we must do something about it. No? Systematic evil like um, unfair treatment of people, um, the newer issue would be um, taking care of our, of our Mother Earth. No? Um, we cannot fast while disregarding this thing no? because fasting and disregarding this thing is like prayer for personal consumption no? prayer for personal gain prayer for personal um, holiness no? but holiness cannot be taken away from one's relationship no? in fact um, love of God is tested in love of neighbor. No? Why? Because God loves every one of us. No? In the eyes of God, we are all brothers and sisters. And if we do not love 
the people that God loves too. No? Then it means something about our, our the reality, the quality of our relationship with God. No? Imagine in your family, imagine your children. Um, your one of your children um, loves you so much, but um, doesn't care much about his siblings, your other children. No, it doesn't make sense. No, so. Um, the prophet Isaiah says here fast, okay but the more important fast is to break free the, the yoke of other people no? the more important fast is to take on your share of suffering on this earth take on not as a victim but as a solution to their suffering no? because most likely than not those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice no? will also be persecuted no? so do we do we throw away our fasting of food and abstinence fasting and abstinence from food no but it takes on a symbolic, symbolic meaning. You know? Our fasting and abstinence for food is just symbolism for everything that, that is our indulgence, you know? our self-indulgence, and perhaps even our favorite sin. You know? To fast from our favorite indulgences means um, to refocus ourselves from our own self-preoccupation to the plight of others. No? It is to refocus our self-preoccupation to our relationship with God. No? Um, our fasting and abstinence takes meaning only with when we um, build our lives around God and those that God loves. No? Um, and this is something that is not foreign to us. No? Um, for those of you, for those of us who are married, um, you have sacrificed so many things just to make our relationships work. For those of us in religious life, we, so we sacrifice many things so that we can answer, we can respond to God's call. No? And so, this fasting and abstinence that we do should come as sec second nature to us. No? The thing is, we recommit ourselves to that relationship that, that must be absolute, and that is love of God. And all other loves should fall in relationship to that absolute love. No? Um, and, the, and these other loves would be love of self and love of others and then love of other things in the service of love of God and love of others. Please rise. Jesus is the eternal bridegroom who ushers us to the joy of the heavenly banquet. In his passion, he would be taken away from his disciples. May our Lenten discipline mark our solidarity with the Lord. For every petition we pray, Lord, give joy to our life. Lord, give joy to our life. May the church never forget that she is the bride of Christ, espoused to him forever, we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. May nothing destroy the supernatural joy of Easter in us, 
even if we are undergoing moments of trial and darkness. We pray. Lord, give joy to our life. May fraternal love increase our capacity for joy. May we not focus primarily on our needs, which invites a joyless existence. We pray. Lord, give joy to our life. May we not fear going to the fringes of society to find Jesus who is already there in the hearts of our brothers and sisters, in their wounded flesh and in their sorrows, we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. When separation and death take our beloved ones away from us, may we not give in to despair but draw assurance from Jesus, who promised that our sorrow would turn into joy. Lord, give joy to our life. For a brief moment of silence, we pray for the intentions of this Mass and the intentions of our loved ones, our friends, and our respective communities. For them we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. We continue to pray for the well-being and safety of the people in Gaza Strip and Ukraine. For them we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. Father, may we keep the lamps of our faith burning in this life and so merit to enter the banquet of eternal life with the eternal bridegroom who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill, when we celebrate these mysteries. For when, about, for when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very Spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, 
with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. De deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. And as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. O oh Lord, make me know your ways, teach me your paths.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed from all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, for your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.